Michael has a question. He says, what's up with the remote situation? I tried the sofa baton, both versions, and they suck. They do. I found a URC MX, but I haven't seen any videos of you guys endorsing them. I, too, reviewed the sofa baton. I think it was the X1 version. Did not like it. Super, super buggy. Really didn't have a whole lot of like functionality to it. There's no touch screen. Um, I personally did not like it. And then I bought it thinking that Michael couldn't be that wrong. And it was terrible. No, it's a booty. So then there was another one that I reviewed. It was the Sof. I'm sorry, not Sofa Baton. It was the um, Best Joy Super Remote. They really need to work on some marketing there. Um, I think they could have come up with maybe a better name, but much better remote. I didn't really have any issues with its functionality, mm -hmm. but their software needs a lot of improvement. Um, it's not user-friendly at all. Certain things are labeled and you're, I struggled with trying to figure out how do I make an activity? You know, basically I want to create a button that says watch movie. And when I hit watch movie, I want it to turn on my projector. I want it to set it to this input. I want it to turn on this processor. I wanted to do all these things. I had no idea. Like, where do I even go? I had to reach out to him and say, I feel like I'm a pretty smart guy, but you haven't made it very intuitive on what button I need to click to create an activity. It's not super user friendly. So they said they're working on it. So that hopefully the good thing that's software, you know, and that can be updated um, over time. And so hopefully they'll get that, but I still don't think that was quite there yet. Um, URC. I've only had one over the years and that was many years ago. And, and everybody said, oh, it's so customizable. You can make your own backgrounds and graphics. And, and it's true. You had to have, I had to actually get the software from somebody that had it because it's not readily available. Typically, URC is meant for custom integrators. Um, so I can only speak on their old models. I don't, I don't, you don't really hear about them much more nowadays. So I don't know how much better they've gotten, but it wasn't for me either. It was like building a website and you had to, and you're a web developer. Yeah. And so <laughs> I, I understood how it worked and, and that's cool to make custom things. And I get it that, you know, but for the average person, you should be able to just say, okay, I have this remote, you know, let's say this is your heart or not harmony. This is your Marantz remote. And you say, okay, I've got this Marantz receiver and give me all the functionality of it. Instead, you say, okay, I have a Marantz receiver and you physically have to map a power button. You have to map a left button, a right button, a down button. And so like every single button, which is great. Do, it is, it's custom. It is great, but it's a lot of work. And if it you don't want that or don't know yeah. how to do it, it is a huge pain in the butt. Correct. My recommend, I have two recommendations. First, buy a used Harmony off eBay. Mm-hmm. Probably the easiest thing to do. They're, They're getting, getting expensive, more expensive. Yeah. They are. Um, two, if you can, <laughs> if it's within the budgetary constraints, IP control system. They're mm. bigger. They're more expensive. They're kind of what URC wants to be. Mm. But you're going to pay for it. And the problem with many of them is that you cannot program them yourselves. You have to pay yeah. a dealer or custom installer to do it for you. So we're so, talking control for Savant. RTI, Crestron, RTI. Um, Elon to an extent, yeah. um, all those. I do RTI mm -hmm. and it's they're awesome because it's yeah. not just your home theater. You can do full automation full in your house, home, which is fantastic. Everything. And they're the best because they're closed ecosystems. You're not reliant on anything else. You're not sending out data. You're sure. not doing any of that. So they're going to be the best, but it's yeah. you're definitely paying for it for sure. Yeah. So along that same lines, Michael says, let me turn this one. Oh, so this was same guy. So Michael, he mentions, is YIO -Y -I -O remote too real? So that is, a, that is the only remote right now that I think has a chance to replace Harmony and do it really well and very well could easily exceed what Harmony does in functionality, but also in aesthetics and build quality and everything. Um, it's got, I think it's aluminum chassis, color LCD. It's beautiful and it seems fast. It's got a fast processor in it. Unlike the Harmony, it that's my biggest complaint with the thing. They're so slow. It's like you you say you swipe up and it's like you got an iPhone four. 
Oh, it's worse it's, than that. It's, it's like, like it forgot to do it and it was like, oh, oh, I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> oh, and then it does it. You want me to do something? You want me to go to activity? <laughs> so that's my biggest gripe with that. But yeah, YO Remote 2, um, if you look that up online, I've got a video. I did an uh, kind of like an interview, like a live stream with them. And uh, then there's another video that I talked about that. So I think it really has potential. Um, I'm in communication with them. They just don't have the remote ready yet. So part of their issue has been like everybody else is getting supplies and parts um, due to the pandemic. And so hopefully they're getting pretty close to um, to getting those units out, at least for uh, consumers. And they've already got their, I guess, pre-order um, on their website and everything. So definitely keep an eye out for them. As soon as I get one, man, I would love to be able to, I just got my fingers crossed going, okay, man, let this thing just kill it. I would love it. Please don't uh, it is a, it is a little yeah exactly it is a little bit more expensive than Harmony I think it's going to be around three fifty in the U S so it is kind of expensive but if you look again if you look at the alternative okay you can buy a sofa baton for a hundred bucks and it's doo doo okay it's it's not good you can spend a lot more than that on Crestron Control Four Savant they and will you have to have and right. you have to have somebody to program it. There so a lot more and you're, you're stuck into that ecosystem. <clears throat> so if you're looking to be able to control this thing, set it up, have a great remote build quality. To me, the YIO remote two has the most potential. Um, so I like it. Like Ryan said, I hope they get it right. I really, really am rooting for these guys. It's a small company. I mean, there's only like two guys, two, maybe three, I think that run the business and they're just enthusiasts. And so they're trying to build this product and, They've already had a previous remote, but it was more of a DIY. You had to like build it and solder it together. But this is a, you know, a consumer driven type of product that they can just ship it to you and it, it's up and running. So, um, but it looks super, super promising. So at least give those guys, um, you know, check them out. So, but I'll let you know as soon as I get something.